So it's 32 degrees out here. I mean, that's cold, but it's not like 15 degrees or like four below zero. So, here's the deal. I've been into like steel wool photography for like a really long time. And maybe not just like steel wool photography, but maybe like long exposure photography, you know, and like you see the light trails when like a car drives by and you like you see their, the, their headlights or their taillights. And I just thought that was really cool. And that's one of the things that got me interested in photography in the first place was, um, seeing those long exposure shots and like just how vibrant and like rich the colors were some of the photos that come out of those sort of scenes or scenarios are like really cool to me and I just love them but look at this tractor right here <laughs> I found a little friend over here you see him right there Right there, little kitty cat. Oh, little kitty must have been sitting here. This is bed. So yeah, just a little disclaimer, make sure that you get uh, permission to explore these places. You know, talk to your mayor, talk to a city official, anyone, the police, you know, call the police and ask them, say, hey, can I go check this place out? I want to take pictures. I wonder where the steering wheel is for this thing. There's literally no steering wheel. I got the um, the materials I need to uh, do the steel wool photography and I'm gonna show them to you right now. So the first thing you're gonna need is a whisk, you know, just a regular whisk. It has to have this on the end of it. It has to have that little piece right there. Then you need either string. Um, I went to the thrift store and got this little thing here. Dale Earnhardt Jr. But um, it has this little hook right here, and that'll be perfect. And now I can use this. You know, I'm going to be swinging, swinging around the uh, the whisk, and that'll be perfect. And then, of course, the steel wool, which I got at Walmart. But uh, it has to be the really fine stuff. All right, let's go do this. All right, so this is my first time doing this. But what you want to do is stretch this stuff out. You know, get it nice and unfolded. And then shove it in the whisk like this. And it's like a little metal bird nest, basically. Just like that. And then I'm going to hook on my Dale Earnhardt string here and there you go If you enjoyed the vid, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.